conservative new media viewers, we've got some news from the NBA. The Oklahoma City Thunder have crushed the visiting Miami Heat tonight at Chesapeake Energy Arena in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. The final score of the game was 103-87 to for the Thunder. We'll include several links to stories about this game in the video description below the video player as soon as we can. The first of those links will be to the box score and video highlights of tonight's contest. We'll give you some commentary and analysis on this game and the Heat in just a moment, but first we'll run through the game details quickly. The matchup was close through the first quarter, but OKC asserted itself in the second quarter and led by 11 points at the intermission. In the third and fourth quarters, it was pretty much all Oklahoma City. Miami made a run midway through the fourth period to cut OKC's lead to eight, but that was as close as things would get before the rout resumed. Kevin Durant led the Thunder with 28 points, nine rebounds, and eight assists. Forward Serge Ibaka added 19 points and 10 boards in the victory. The Thunder had five players who reached double figures in scoring. Dwayne Wade led Miami with 22 points, four rebounds, and four assists. LeBron James added 17 points and seven dimes in the loss. With the win, OKC improves to 37 and 12 on the year. Miami falls to 35 and 12 with the loss. The Heat will next face the Indiana Pacers tomorrow night in Indianapolis. Now for some commentary and analysis on this game and the Miami Heat. First, if Kevin Durant was not a serious player in the league MVP race before, he has to be now. KD nearly had a triple-double on a night when LeBron James and the Heat were a bit off of their game, and millions of people around the world saw the spectacle on ESPN television. Big-time performance by Durant and his squad. Second, Dwayne Wade hit a ridiculous three-quarter court shot at the buzzer of the third quarter. I'm sure that you can find that play on the linked highlights, and it's well worth seeing. Third, Wade and Thunder center Kendrick Perkins had a minor altercation late in the fourth quarter. After a Perkins dunk, the center ended up with his right leg draped around Wade, who didn't appreciate the gesture. Fourth, there are no excuses to be made for Miami's performance tonight. They just got beat. They were out-hustled, out-executed, out-athleticized, out-willed, and any other out-anything you can think of. Oklahoma City put on a brilliant show, and all credit is due to them. Miami will be looking for revenge when the two teams meet again, I'm sure, but there is a lot for Miami to do in order to be ready for a second meeting. Fifth, Miami was outsized in this game by Kendrick Perkins, Serge Ibaka, and Nick Collison. It has been said many times, but it needs to be repeated. The Heat desperately need more help up front, even though they have Chris Bosh. This is the Achilles heel that could cost Miami again in the playoffs. Sixth, and on the other hand, newly acquired big man Roni Turiev was solid in limited minutes for the Heat. Turiev is not a giant like Perkins, nor is he as athletic as Ibaka, but he adds more offense for Miami at center than either Joel Anthony or Dexter Pittman. Seventh, Miami has to find a way to become more cohesive and mentally settled as a team. If you have watched as many Heat games as I have over the last two years, you know what I'm talking about. There were too many mental mistakes and nerves in this game, I felt, and that is something that the Heat need to put behind them as quickly as they can. Comparatively speaking, the Thunder looked poised, in sync, and calm. Eighth and finally, LeBron James is in transition as a player now. He is no longer the relatively smaller faster, unstoppable motor athlete he once was. Don't get me wrong, 
LeBron is still likely the best athlete in the NBA. However, he's so muscular and large now that it's not as easy for him to drive to the basket as it once was when he was younger. And he can get fatigued more now than he ever did in the past. The solution for LeBron is to work more of his offensive game from the low post. And he is starting to do that, but it is an unfinished process. I think within two years, LeBron will be almost unstoppable from the post, but he's not there yet, and he still is trying to run more of his game from the perimeter without the same level of success he had, say, in Cleveland. Now, give us your thoughts on this game below. Were you surprised that the Heat got blown out? Do you think Kevin Durant has edged ahead of LeBron James in the league MVP race this season? Do you think Oklahoma City is ready to win a title? You tell us below. Also, please be sure to let us know what you thought about this video by clicking on the thumbs up or thumbs down button underneath the video player. Thanks. Finally, we encourage you to come and join the fun on the Conservative New Media Facebook group. You will find the link to the group in the video description. This is NBA expert Paul F. Villarreal, and you're watching Conservative New Media. Thanks for watching.